Whack. Uh, hey, 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 this isn't bad pop, <laughs> it's fat pop. Now, I want to apologize to everyone out there. It's taken me a while to get around to doing this episode, but there's a lot of material to cover, a lot of statements to read, and I had to watch a lot of the interviews that went down. This isn't about justice, or they would have went to the cops when it happened. It's about the money. I mean, come on. But then they said it's not about the money, but they're suing them for more money. But wait a minute. Yeah, f*** it. Lying slewers. This is Just Because Me. And there's all kinds of different meanings up in here, but hey, you take what you need out of this, okay? You know, you're looking at the boards and how we're doing things and we might come across a little pissed off. That's because we are. Because Mr. Cosby was America's dad for 20 plus years. And he had everyone's respect until this bullshit here happened. So guess what? It's game on. The top graph is Cosby's timeline thus far. 1937, he rips himself out of the meat sack for a big, huge meat sack insertion into the prime material plane. Winning! All right, he goes uh, to school, high school, goes in the Navy, comes out of the Navy, decides he's going to go into comedy. This is 1962, and he's 25 years old. He does well, he climbs up the ladder, and then boom, 1972, it blows up and you get the first big, huge titty of fame. Okay, he rides that wave in until roughly 1979. It drops off again. He drops down to nominal. He found his big sitcom hit, The Cosby Show. And that was another huge one. That's the second big titty bubble of fame. I think he did a couple more movies, a couple more albums, but he's been slowly winding down here till we get to today, which is 19, uh, or 2015. Three beers is way too many. <laughs> We're gonna have a list of all the, you know, alleged victims. We're going to run through them real quick on the video so you can see other names and the years that they supposedly happened. A large majority of these took place during the fame years. He was at the top of his game. He didn't have to rape anybody. They were lining up to hit that shit. And you know they were. Being a mass rapist does not fit into his character skill set. There's a lot of dudes out there who throw on a sharp suit and go to a bar full of slurs and act rich and rake it in. Liars coitus. But that doesn't equal rape. That just, you're an asshole. <laughs> I believe it was roughly 85 to 95. I think it started in California and worked its way through where drunk does not equal consent. She willingly drank that booze. You didn't ram a funnel up her ass and pour it in there. Come on. There has to be some, you know, responsibility here. I mean, come on. I forgot. Logic and personal responsibility. Our kryptonite to the feminists. Winning. <laughs> no. And then we get to 2014 where California passes the first yes means yes. So basically, they're changing the definition of rape, which are going to be all kinds of fun and games for the next 20 years. Rape as it is, is a bunch of he said, she said crap anyway. Suddenly, the burden of proof is on the accused. Down the road, that's not going to stand up in the Supreme Court. It's just not. I watched the interviews. There's a lot of conflicting stories, non-congruencies, and illogical things that went on. Like people going back for more, dates not jiving. It's, it's, it's just the whole thing stinks. They have no proof. They have no physical evidence. And the statute of limitation has run out on, on almost all of these. If you're taking these women at their word, you got to watch the CNN interview because they already shot themselves in the foot. I want him to suffer. Not only did they say that he did this multiple times, they went back for more. And they also claim <laughs> they're not after his money. But yet, they're suing him for money. Right now, women are allowed to come out of the woodworks and say that Bill Cosby raped them and drugged them 40 years ago. No proof, no evidence. But in the process, they get their stories told, they get their stories sold, they get paid, he gets his reputation ruined. And we don't think we should at least check on these allegations. The media doesn't care about innocence. They only care about their agenda and what they can sell you. Right now, their agenda is to keep tensions high, both racially and sexually. Yeah, and you have a dude worth $500 million who speaks out against those things. He's a threat. I think they're doing this to A, destroy his legacy, and B, silence him. When this opportunity came up to crucify that man, they jumped on it. Totally true. And without any evidence and no proof, this is all slander. 
So Mr. Cosby is well within his rights to sue them into the goddamn Stone Age. And a lot of you are like, Well, Pop, you know, why would all these women do that? Oh my God, it's, there must be some truth to it. Well, yes and no. And the reason is, Cosby has $500 million. And as we all know, money is the root of all evil. They wanted his money. So, in the beginning, they took his six to eight inches, because they knew <laughs> They're gonna get six to eight thousand per thrust. And this one is huge. Mr. Cosby in the past settled some of this stuff to try to make it go away. Thus, he set the stage for the witch hunt that's taking place right now. There's already a precedence. Run your mouth and get rewarded. So basically, now edit this out, Cosby f***ed himself. That is not an admission of guilt. That is only wanting it to go away. And I think something similar happened to yeah, Michael Jackson. Yeah, he settled for a lot of money. And after he passed away, the families came forward and said, yes, it was about the money. But hey, yeah, you didn't hear about that now, did you? You're suffering from Alzheimer's. Exoneration does not sell newspapers. Did Cosby have a lot of sex? <laughs> You're right he did. And if I was in his shoes, I'd be getting it too, hand over fist, baby. Was he a nice guy about it? Were you, Mr. Cosby? I'm leaning to no. You probably weren't such a nice guy about it because you got all these women that upset with you. But that doesn't make you a rapist. Because I'm definitely an asshole. <laughs> and I'm not a rapist. Maybe you used your power and privilege, whatever you had, they had them partying, whatever, and... Got her in! Oh. <laughs> Do I think that a lot of them willingly went and drinking with him and took drugs? Yes. Does that make him a rapist? No. Just because you took a swing at the dicky bank and you struck out, does it make it rape? Does it make you an opportunist slur? Maybe. <laughs> you feminists out there, just because you change your mind in the morning with buyer's remorse, it doesn't even go rape. No money for you. Suck it up, buttercup. Wah. <laughs> There's a common theme across all of this. They're disgruntled. Maybe he didn't call them. Maybe he didn't, you know, care or whatever. Probably wham, bam, thank you, man. Went about his deal. Never called him again, whatever. And that builds resentment. And we're seeing that today. <laughs> Bitches. You know, have I done it myself? Yes, I have. Have a lot of dudes out there? Of course. That's, but it just makes us rapists. All right. It just makes us rude, ungentleman like a-holes because we're stupid no <laughs> well we are they didn't go to the police you know 20 30 40 years ago even 50 almost i mean nobody went to the police come on they're crying rape so they can line their pockets with free cash women are able to say whatever they want unfounded unchecked unvetted and we go along with it because why well you don't want to be the guy who doesn't believe a rape victim and the rape victim tells the truth but why is it okay that you're the guy or the girl who believes a rape victim and find out the rape victim is a liar? Now listen, everybody. Just because I have the brain to question this does not make me a rape apologist. Whatever that means. It's a feminist lingo bullshit. Were drugs used? This is the 60s and 70s. People were taking drugs like they're going out of style. <laughs> if you drink a drink and black out, get up in the morning, go to the police, get a blood test, and then hammer it home. Otherwise, you have a dog in a fight. So accept some responsibility for it and quit trying to milk a good dude for his cash. Wah. Can you hear that? That's all the feminists out there having a shit fit over this. <laughs> Wah. Then they're like, hey, these women settled for X amount of dollars. I'm going to do the same thing. Why? Because I'm an old PP. Old, poor, and powerless. Because you women out there don't seem to realize that feminism, once you're at the age of 40, 42, no longer cares about you. You could be happily married and they'll just refer to you as brainwashed they like to indock you between 13 and 22 so they can manipulate your mind in your prime earning years after you're done with that that they're finished with you because you're old poor and powerless a lot of them are alone they're poor because the world is not kind to a single old lady okay and i'm sorry it has to be that way and some of you who never had children are opath which is old poor powerless and forgotten because a lot of these women don't have any kids so you know, at 50, it's over for you. Surrender all your Christmas, Easter's, Thanksgivings, because your family's gone, and you're all by yourself. Well, yeah, you did it to yourself. No money for you. Suck it up, buttercup. Okay, or you become old pass, which is old, poor, powerless, and stupid. Disgruntled, you're bitter, and you let somebody influence you into making some crazy accusations. Who do you really think is the victim here? My money is on the victim who had his only son murdered 15 years ago. And now, the same person 
has to sit back and watch as these old path bitches murder his legacy. That's what's going on here. Please, I'm asking you nicely. Take this video and share it with five dudes. It is my hope that Mr. Cosby goes on the offensive because he's got $500 million to spend. The I don't care light is probably going to go on real soon <laughs> and he's going to go forward and I don't give a f speed and I hope he breaks all your goddamn backs. Don't forget, if you like this video better than you like Ghost Dad, hit the subscribe button and all of you should do so because <laughs> quite frankly, Ghost Dad sucked. Sorry, Mr. Cosby, just saying. Pop's head. Right. <laughs> Wing! <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Well, Fat Albert when I was a kid. I love that shit. And watch as these oh, <laughs> uh, three beers. Now, if you look to the board to my right, your left, you <laughs> will see third beer. Forget third me. beer. <laughs> it is my right, right? Your left. Yeah, that's right. right.